volunteers for that. Here we go, and we have Cindy Belt from the Nature Conservancy. We are really excited to be here at Estuary Live to talk about plants. We're standing right beside Bass Creek, and we're going to have a chance to learn all about algae and other things. And what the heck is that? Hi, kids. Hey. Hi. Hi. I just went for a swim, and I, I seem to have gotten some, some stuff on me. I, I wonder what it is. I I, think I pulled up a rock when I, when I was out there, and there's something attached to it. Rockweed. <gasps> and why do you think it's called rockweed? Because there's a rock attached to it. That's right, oh. because it attaches to there's rock. poppers. Yes, poppers is another name for it. And can you there's show me it. and show the viewers why it's called poppers? Can I pop it? Go ahead and pop it. Oh, I want to pop it. Want to pop one? They pop! Okay, now we have another type of, of vegetation. It's kind of mossy feeling. Does anyone know what this is? It's called red wool. Red wool, that's right. And do you know where it grows? Yes? Algae? It, it grow, it's, a, it's an algae and it grows on the bottom of the water. Now I think I have something hanging from from my my hair. Yeah. yeah. Let me see if I can detach it. Oh. oh. Dead what man's is fingers. that? Dead man's fingers. Dead man's fingers. And what does it feel like when you touch it? Dead man's fingers. Is it spongy? Yeah. It's kind of spongy, right? Yep. Definitely. And and we see that it has attached itself it's to a shell. A shell, that's right. Now, I think there's something in my left Ooh, arm. I know. Can you pull that out for me? Thank that's, you. That's, what is it called? Widgeon. It's called widgeon grass. grass. And it's pretty fine, right? It looks pretty fine. Can you I eat think it? why it's called widgeon I don't know if I'd grass eat it. Is Ew. Widgeons eat it. Ew. Widgeons eat it. That's right. Ew. Now, there's... I, I have a bunch is. of stuff on my eelgrass. right eelgrass. shoulder. Eelgrass. And this eelgrass. is called eelgrass, right. Now, does anyone know where this grows? I think I know. Yes. Um, in the ocean? It grows in estuaries, that's right. And it, it grows in very clear water. The water can't be polluted. It must be very clean to grow. Now, does anyone know why, why eelgrass is important and what it does? Yes? Because it, it, all the little fish and eels hide in it. That's right. All sorts of scallops and clams and, and little baby fish like to hide out in there so they're protected from predators. Now, some, I've heard that sometimes all of this algae and everything else washes up on the beach. And you know what? There's no, there's little birds that love to come along in this piles on the beach. This is called a rack line. It gets washed up after storms. And what do you think might hide in there that a bird might like to eat? Bugs? Yeah, little bugs, little beach hoppers. What they'll do is come along the beach, and they'll poke in here, and they'll see if they can find something to eat. So it's really important, both in the water, where it helps provide homes for animals, and even makes oxygen, just like other plants on land would do. And I heard earlier, actually, that don't plants help clean the water, yeah. too? Yep. Hey, we know what's no, all about water. clean water. Shall we sing it? Yeah. Yeah. Back up to Kevin. Whatever. And if Will comes back here, then I'll see his face too. And are you ready? Yeah. One, two, two three, three, four. You can 